the ad hoc committee, fortunately, I think, foresaw the importance of, of uh, building uh, strong conviction in a, throughout the industry uh, that scanning was uh, the way to go. And therefore, they charged us uh, at McKinsey uh, with the task of, uh, of starting to make that happen. Uh, early on in the effort. Uh, the Ad Hoc Committee, having first met in the summer of 1970, by March of 1971 had concluded that uh, UPC indeed was uh, a feasible uh, and desirable uh, project. Uh, they, however, uh, at that point, recognized that it was important that industry uh, support be generated uh, uh, as quickly as possible. And, and consequently, we started an effort of taking uh, their findings around to a, a very large group of individual uh, manufacturers and retailers, uh, presenting it to them and soliciting their support for the conclusions which the ad hoc committee uh, intended to announce to the industry uh, in roughly uh, May of 1970. Uh, we met with perhaps 30 uh, grocery manufacturers uh, individually, uh, probably a hundred more in groups. In the individual meetings, we required that the CEO be present uh, and he could have anyone else in the meeting that he wished. Uh, we told them that we would, at the end of the meeting, ask them to either uh, agree or uh, not agree with the uh, conclusions which the uh, ad hoc committee had reached uh, and that we wanted that in writing. And so we proceeded to, to, uh, to, to make those presentations. We also made similar presentations to uh, roughly uh, 40 uh, retailers. Uh, in that case, since we weren't requiring them to do any marking. Uh, we didn't uh, uh, ask them uh, to, to agree that they would do that. Uh, and we didn't ask them if they would agree to put in scanners. Uh, but we uh, did ask them if they were comfortable, the CEO, uh, in being present, if they were comfortable with the uh, conclusions which we intended to announce. And that was a very, very uh, big effort uh, that, that we undertook on behalf of the Ad Hoc Committee. Uh, it was expensive, uh, obviously a lot of time and effort involved, uh, but we felt it was necessary and in fact we had, uh, by the time Bert Gukin announced the conclusions at the uh, uh, SMI, uh, convention in uh, May uh, of 1970, uh, we had written confirmation uh, from uh, a majority, uh, 1971, excuse me. Three. Uh, Three. No, no, oh. the conclusion, this, is, this was the phase one uh, conclusion, okay. so they were announced uh, in uh, May of 1971. Uh, and we, we actually uh, didn't know until uh, literally the night before Bert's scheduled speech uh, where we were going to come out and we had two speeches for him. One was uh, the one he actually gave on the conclusions. The other one was, uh, was, was a progress uh, report saying we were still working on it. Uh, and we got a couple of final uh, 
wires the night before and decided, okay, we can give speech number one, and that's when we announced uh, then the, uh, the initial findings of the ad hoc that we were going to move ahead. Uh, and of course that led then to, uh, the, the, from there on, the, the effort really sort of divided into two. Uh, in, in, into two subgroups, really. One, uh, code administration, which was to set up uh, the mechanism by which we would numbers would be assigned and, and uh, people would become uh, manufacturers would become members of the Uniform Code Council. Uh, and the second was the symbol selection process itself, uh, which was under a, uh, another subcommittee of the ad hoc called the Symbol Selection Subcommittee. And so from May 1970 onward, uh, there were really two uh, uh, parallel efforts going on uh, within, the, uh, uh, within the ad hoc and the uh, uh, UPC development.